my channel. Today's video, I am testing more Dollar Tree cleaning products. It's been a while because I wanted to give them plenty of time to bring out some new stuff, and everything I've got today is a brand new item that I have never tried before. What prompted this little trip to Dollar Tree was actually I was out of my favorite floor cleaner, and that's the only place I've been able to find it in my area. So if you have not tried this blue Ajax, try it for your floors. It is absolutely amazing. But I have 11 new products over there. I'm gonna show you, walk you through what we're doing, and then I will compare some of them to name brand, but most of them I'm just gonna try out to see how they work for what they are. If that sounds good, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. These are the cleaning products we'll be trying out today. I haven't used any of these before, so they're all brand new to me as well, except for the squirt bottle, but I'll get to that in a second. So LA Awesome's version of like a CLR. This is almost like an OxyClean, a cleaning vinegar. This is an oven cleaner, a glass cleaner, a bathroom cleaner. These are like SOS or Brillo pads, so we're gonna try those. Lens wipes, because two of my kids wear glasses, so if these are any good, it'd be nice to throw in their backpack. Some reusable wipes that are supposed to be like reusable paper towels. And then a different kind of multi-purpose cleaning cloth, as well as a broom head. I'll show you what that's for. And any of them that need to be scrubbed, I will use a Dollar Tree scrubber, so that way we are sticking with the Dollar Tree products. And like for the glass cleaner, I will use one of these two different kinds of wipes. For the squirt bottle, I have used their squirt bottles before and they are really, really good. Just you have to be very careful because these two parts can break pretty easily. But I'm using that with the cleaning vinegar and Dawn on my shower door. That's how I'm gonna test out the cleaning vinegar today. So I needed one of these. The first one I'm gonna try is their scrub-free oven cleaner. It says fume-free, heavy-duty, some kind of a lemon scent. It can be done for a two-hour clean, a spot clean, or an overnight. I'm gonna mostly test this on like the spot clean because my oven's not that dirty. And honestly, with it telling me rubber gloves and masks and covering my floors and countertops, I'm a little worried about this product. I was a little worried when this one's like long gloves and gear up and all kinds of stuff. So I'm like, you know what, maybe that's just an oven cleaner thing. I went and got my easy off. No, it is not the case. And they even have, if you can see it, bare hands cleaning it and no crazy instructions like that. So just keep that in mind. So like I said, my oven's not that bad, but that's also because I use a liner. So just every now and then some stuff gets right here and then my door gets pretty bad. So I'm going to spray it here in this region and let it sit. I might even, yeah, I'll get this little area too, and just let it sit for probably about 10 minutes. side note on it that lemon scent is very mild it's not very strong at all so yeah this one's definitely worth it the next item is this 12 pack of lens wipes they are like the ones you rip apart and you could just throw in a bag I'm gonna try them on my daughter's glasses her glasses are disgusting and I know that's really hard to see but I'm trying my best to show it to you guys uh, they're not very easy to rip open I will say that Take the wipe out Oh, but it is pretty large. Smells like straight alcohol wipe. That cleaned them super well, but I wanna see if it streaks once they dry. And this way you could see that the glasses are really clean. There's a little something right there on it, but otherwise, yeah, this product definitely works. The next product we're gonna try is the cleaning vinegar. I am using it with equal parts of Dawn in the squirt bottle, and yes, we're gonna try out the squirt bottle too, so we're both these products in one review, but just go ahead and put equal parts of both of these into your squirt bottle. As you can see, the bottle does have measurements on it, so I had four ounces of Dawn left in that bottle, and now I'm gonna add four ounces of the cleaning vinegar in there. Eight ounces of liquid in that bottle, and what we're going to do is make sure the cap is on really well, and then shake it up. I don't mean shake it up, I mean just kind of like swirl it around, but don't actually shake it because then the whole thing will fill with bubbles. I have neglected my shower doors in preparation for this. If you can see all of the hard water, like there's a good sign. 
but it's all the way down both of my doors. So yeah, that's where this is going is on these doors. But you can see my wand up there. That's Dawn and vinegar in it right there. And I clean my shower doors. So they don't normally look like this, but this is what I'm working on. In my shower, I don't know if you can see the soap scum any better, but I'm just going to spray it all over the glass. This spray bottle works pretty good, but it's already leaking right there on my finger. So they're good, but they're not great. So I mentioned the broom head earlier. This is my Dollar Tree stick from the last time I tested stuff with Dollar Tree. You just need to buy the stick and then whatever head you want to put on it. There's mops, two different kinds of brooms, all kinds of stuff. I bought this one to scrub the shower. Obviously, this is not for the doors because it doesn't bend like a normal broom handle could. So this right here is not to scrub the glass doors in. You see the dog paws down there? Mako is starting to stain the bottom of my thing. So I'm going to use the same cleaning vinegar and Dawn and that broom and I'm gonna scrub the whole bottom of my shower so I don't have to get down there and scrub it. That's what the mop is for, or the broom, excuse me. To scrub the cleaner into the door, I'm going to use the Dollar Tree scrub brush right here. glass afterwards completely clear beautiful this little marker here is actually on the outside of the glass right here but inside stunning another little added bonus if you want to keep the water spots off get a squeegee and when you get out of your shower like when you turn the water off squeegee the doors and it will keep the dots away the kids bathroom mirror is where we're going to try out the next several products three of them actually but I'm trying to make it where you can see all of the spots all over the mirror. We're gonna try out the glass cleaner in here. And on one half of the mirror, we're going to use one of these white multi-purpose cleaning cloths. And on the other half, we're gonna use one of these reusable wipes. Now they say they are compared to paper towels. Rinse and use over and over again, and there's four of them in there. So I'm gonna try it with several different things today. So if you guys look really carefully, you can see where it is streaking really, really bad, but it's only doing it on the side where I use the reusable paper towel. This side over here is beautiful. It has no streaking whatsoever. It's really, really nice. Although I did not like the feel of this cloth when I was cleaning at all. It kind of felt like, like this was really slimy and like it wasn't going to absorb anything, if that makes a lot of sense but it did work. That cloth with the glass cleaner worked. That one did not. So I will try these on different occasions, but I mean, if you're in a pinch, I say sure. If not, I've definitely had better multi-purpose little cleaning cloths than that. So I'd probably say no. And this, the spray way is a ton better than this, but this is still not bad at all. This one I'm going to reuse. I'm going to rinse it out here in a minute because this sink is where we're going to try out that bathroom cleaner. You could see where my kids have been spitting their toothpaste and it's just a dirty sink. So I'm going to try this with the scrub brush and the cleaner and with this reusable paper towel. This is the bathroom cleaner that we're going to try. It says cleans, deodorizes, non-abrasive, cleans without scrubbing. So I did rinse out this paper towel. I have the scrub brush there. Dirty, dirty sink. So I'm gonna spray the whole sink, but I'm not going to scrub half it. I'm just gonna wipe it with the paper towel and then the other half, I will scrub it. Wash that out, use it again, and rinse it and wring it out again, and it is still holding up really well. So these are holding up quite nicely. 
and both sides were equally beautiful whether I scrubbed it or not but neither one have touched that stain right there and this does say for hard stains to leave on for 10 minutes and then I should be able to just wipe it off so I'm going to plug this so the cleaner stays and I'm going to try that. It's been 10 minutes now I kind of just want to see if I wipe it yeah you can see that it's still there so I think I'm gonna try and scrub it real fast. The 10 minute stain removal thing did nothing. Is it still a really good bathroom cleaner? Absolutely, for the price tag, sure, because I think I pay like almost $4 for a can of Kaboom. Do I still like Kaboom better? Sure, but this is definitely worth the money if you just want a fast bathroom cleaner that does its job because the sink is gorgeous. Moving into their version of CLR, this is their Rust Lime Calcium by the LA Totally Awesome All Purpose Cleaner. This little piece that goes right here with my ice and my water maker, this is what I'm going to use because you can tell we have a dripping issue. So this constantly stays wet and gross. And the, one of the few things I found that cleans it is CLR. So I'm going to try their version on this. Let me dump it out and show you guys all the before grossness. It's been sitting for like two minutes. I'm just gonna use the same sponge from earlier that I cleaned the stove with and scrub it down really good, rinse it, and then I'll show you what it looks like. It did a tiny bit, but not a whole lot. There's still so much gross all along that back edge. I don't really think it did much at all. They can't all be winners, and I am not really happy with this. I would rather just buy CLR, to be completely honest. So I'm going to try one of these on that exact same piece from my refrigerator. This is what the little pads look like. All of that is soap on it, and it is a very abrasive thing. So be careful with what you choose to use it on. Like Try a small spot first, so that way you don't ruin anything when you're trying to clean with these, because they can scratch your surfaces very easily. But what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to dampen this and then I'm going to try and get in all the edges and grooves of that, scrubbing it and see what happens. I have a box of Brillo pads that I keep on hand because I use them to clean the inside top part of my Ninja Foodie. And this is nothing compared to that. I laid into that piece of plastic full on elbow grease with this thing. Like you can see it, it's basically crushed. And there's still marks on that. So I, I don't understand. This is dried. Now you can see how that Brillo thing scrubbed a lot off and whatever this last layer is, it still could not get that off. But one thing I will say I've never noticed about this, back here it does say dishwasher safe. I have never once seen that, so I will probably be throwing that in my dishwasher to see if I can get it the rest of the way cleaned off. But those pads do help a lot, but it's not as, it's not as strong, I wanna say, as a Brillo or an actual SOS pad. This right here, LA is totally awesome. Oxygen Orange is the last one we're gonna try. It's sold as an all-purpose spot remover. It says removes tough stains and odors from laundry, carpet, furniture, and more. You can use it on tubs, tiles, floors, you name it, and it tells you right here how to dilute it based on what you're using it for, for laundry, stain, carpet, grout, tile, etc. I'm gonna use this for the spot cleaner treatment back here, which says one scoop for a gallon of water, and then you put it on the stain, let it sit for five to 30 minutes. I'm not making a whole gallon for this. This is my son's Halloween shirt that he adores, but he got red candy on it, so I'm going to attempt to clean that spot with this. First things first, just opening it, and look at the mess it's making just from unscrewing the lid. It's basically snowing on my table. Problem number two, there is no scoop in there, but it says one scoop for every gallon of water. Okay, what scoop? Am I gonna be using my OxyClean scoop for this? Since this is not specifying at all what I'm supposed to do here, I'm just gonna use about a little bit of water, hot water, kind of like warm to hot, so that way this stuff will dissolve. And I'm just gonna pour some, about like that, in there and just mix it around until it dissolves. It says apply it to the spot and let it sit for five to 30 minutes. Well, I don't even need to because it pulled that red lollipop right off of that with no issue whatsoever. And that white doesn't even have a tiny bit of pink left. That's fantastic. That came off ridiculously easy, so now I'm gonna go searching my house for something else with a stain on it. My son's school shorts, I have no idea 
what any of this is. He came home with it on Friday. I was just chalking these up as ruined because for one, they're a size too small. I've already had to cut this out. Well, not a size too small, but they're getting there. So I was just gonna throw them away anyways, but I still wanna see if it will work on that. Dump it on and then wait a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, I'm just dump it on. About 15 minutes into it sitting here, there's one dot of whatever that was left. The rest of it came off, but whatever this black stuff is, it's not budging whatsoever, but I am still pretty intrigued by this stuff. Just a recap, these, I don't see a point. I really wouldn't buy those again. Neither about this. I would not buy this again either. I would just spend the extra money and buy CLR. It is so, so much better. These, I'm not sure how I feel about them, honestly. For the $1.25, are they good? Yes, would I rather just spend the extra money and get Brillo? And they also do sell Brillo pads. You don't get as many for the money, but they do sell those in the Dollar Tree, and I think I would rather just have those. This big old thing of cleaning vinegar for $1.25, absolutely, this I would do over and over again. This I'm still intrigued by, not gonna lie, with how fast it took that red lollipop off of that shirt, I'm still pretty intrigued by this, so I'm gonna try it again in a few other places as well as these that was actually pretty fun i'm still playing with it i've already wrung it out about nine times and still reusing it and it's perfectly fine and then that glass cleaner was also really really good as well as the oven cleaner but i already put that in my cleaner closet but these are pretty good other than those the ones i didn't show you the broom is obviously that one is fantastic the spray bottle is good walmart also sells their cleaning bottles like that one and I have had better luck with theirs, but the Dollar Tree ones will get you through, but I get longer term when I get the ones out of Walmart as like just a cheap cleaning bottle. That bathroom cleaner is great in a pinch. It's still not going to be my go-to bathroom cleaner, but it does do its job. But that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys got a few new products that you're interested to try from Dollar Tree. If there are any other ones you do want me to try, just let me know down below or any other stores that you do want me to test their cleaning products from and I will happily do that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>